What's up, butt touchers? It's me, Eric from Beck, and I'm here with Mama. And we're gonna play some Firewatch. It's a game that came out this week. Um, I don't really know what it's about. I know it's a mystery kind of game that shit happens or something. I don't know. Well, I'm here with Mama, and I'm also here with uh, Kadeem, but he. Disappeared. He'll be back shortly, I guess, or whatever. And we're just gonna start a new game. Chloe, what are you doing? Oh yeah, we're. It <laughs> sounds like you're being abducted. I'm finally managing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does my voice sound funny? Am I? Does it, do I have a super deep voice? No. No. Nope. Just Damn. Sound. Just, it sounds like there's aliens behind you. Yeah, a little Going, bit. Boop. <laughs> like every so often. I don't hear anything. Oh, it went straight into the game. Like I just clicked the game. All right. Here's. There we go. Can you see this, by the way? Okay? Hell yeah! Empty game. No, it, I'm not there. I'm not there. Either. Hell yeah! Loading screen. Campo Santos presents in cooperation with Panic Inc. Campo Santo presents. <laughs> You're so delayed. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Whoa, spoiler alert, okay? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> oh, I gotta click it. Hey, did you know that you see Julia? Does she see you back? <laughs> Are out drinking with your pals. Are you a stalker? No. Uh, it's I can't tell if Kadeem is back. Cause, it says Cause you know her name is Julia. Yeah. She a... clearly isn't there with you. Yes. I, I I don't know. All I know is that she uh, she's about my age. I know that. Late twenties. <laughs> Laughing with well dressed professor and graduate from nearby CU. Colorado University Boulder? What is that? Yeah, I think so. Hey, Chloe, is expert opinion. Thing? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there a Colorado University Boulder? Uh, yeah. Oh, God, see? We got our scientist. We got our, our Colorado scientist here. Uh, Checks she gives out. Us the, she gives us her Colorado seal of improvement. Uh, yeah, that's well. Everyone's so nice at CU Boulder, because everyone's always high. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm gonna approach her. Can I approach her? Ooh, background. Yeah, do it. <laughs> you are drunk. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so, what's your, you know, major? Or, you, you're pretty. Which one should I go for? I think you should go for, um, well, if you're drunk. You, you're pretty. Mm, I don't know, what. how obnoxious do you want to be? <laughs> I don't want to be, like, the, the annoying femship. I don't know. Well, see, because, like, you know, if you were super drunk and you ask, like, what's your major, then they're going to be like, really? really what's dude? my major? Really? I think you should just go for the pretty. There's no, you know, there's no... Secrets in that one. You just want to fuck. <laughs> this guy fucks. Okay. You. What? Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, I, you're pretty. She says. Oh, she pokes at me. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger. She says. I am the worst reader. Just saying. Flagged yeah, down a really? and one week later, you are you, Julia's yeah. boyfriend. What? Wait. I thought she rejected yeah, good. me. Looks like Julia's an easy moving. get, you Wait. know what I mean? Yeah, really. Way too fast? Way too fucking fast. Wait, it's a week and then they're dating. Like, that's okay. I think that's an okay amount of time. No, I get that. I'm just saying, like, I thought she rejected me here. Yeah, but not anyways. I'm just Julia, kidding. Julia clearly is ready to throw down. Yeah, Julia. And that's okay, man. Oh, oh. Oh, oh is that? Oh. I got, 
I got a weird. Oh. <laughs> My legs are like going bonkers right now. What's wrong with your legs? <laughs> you see it What's wrong with your legs? Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, you're good, man. I wanna just imagine that, like, anyone in the elevator who comes in, like, just won't fuck with you, you know what I mean? Like, they see those sweet moves, and they're like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna- I can't see it now, cause it's dark. Is that my red van? My red pickup truck? It apparently is. Am I- Do I drive in this game? Not with those legs, you know? <laughs> You're just gonna walk out? You're just gonna... I'm loading my gear. I think I just, they mean the backpack. I just threw a backpack there. I think the backpack is your gear. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. When you move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the, fa of the, of the mountain. Of the fountain. You two drink beers out of the deck. Not on the deck, you drink beer just about everywhere. Anywhere. Life is good. You sound like a drunk. I know. Julia wants to get a dog. Because, <laughs> you know, it's like getting kids, but like practice, you know what I mean? It's, there's a scruffy, undersized beagle. A Julia's in, in love. What? She wants to drink it. No, my speech. There's also an intermediate. Okay, I can't read that. Intimidating. I completely balled that out. I was intimidating. Intimidating. And also intimidating. And it is an intimidating but gentle eye. I'm just the worst reader. German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. Okay, well tell Julia she shouldn't fucking bring a dog to school. Well, she, she wants to bring the beagle to school. She wants a German Shepherd because it's a badass. Yeah, but like, it sounds kind of like J Julia does not need a special needs animal, you know what I mean? Okay, so I can- She doesn't need a service a dog, and service dogs are like, never beagles! I could either- That's also a not a show-off dog, she's gonna be super uncool. Yeah, I could have a beagle named Bucket, or a, sher a shepherd named Mayhem. You're really gonna get a dog named Bucket? I just don't like, think about your life decisions. I know that this is a game, but... <laughs> I'm just so gonna go mean. with Mayhem. Shepard is nice. German Shepherds are nice. I don't really like Peter. Yeah. Right? And it's a gentle-eyed, and if you're watching Fires, man, well, I think you're not gonna need a, like, a low-to-the-ground ears are gonna catch fire beagle. I, I don't get how this is Firewatch. This is more like choosing like my wife, my future wife, in a dating sim or something, but it's like a trivia dating sim. You want a dog, but she wants a cat. Which one do you get a dog? Like, okay. Don't get a fucking cat. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child and a pet all, all, all rolled into one. That's cool. Do I see him? 1979. We talk out on the deck. It's summer. 19 p.m. I don't know why I said it like that. And the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, See, I told you. Dogs are just practice for children. They're, 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 okay, kids, That's a fact. You're, you're not very smart. They're not very smart. Or good at much. You're saying if you and I have some couple of idiots, that would be pretty good. Or one day, why rush? To you, man. Not uh, you. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I like how they give you only two choices out of this. It's a 50/50 like, oh, chance God. that I'm gonna fuck up. <laughs> My money is on banger, banger and make babies. That would be pretty good. Right. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. You say. Uh, these kids are going to be screwed up enough. 
it's probably for the best that their parents are. You say she's absolutely right. So I got kids, and I got a red pickup truck. That's, you know, you're living a pretty decent life for, like, someone who probably doesn't live near people. Yeah! I forget to check in. I mean, it looks orange to me. I don't see, I don't see why it looks red. There's, like, a red stripe on it. Yo, with that one little red stripe. <laughs> it's, it looks... That part of it is a red pickup truck. Sun, which is surprisingly not that bright. I guess it's because it's the... It's kind of... It's, it looks like it's, like, 4.30. You know what I mean? That's, like, the 4.30 time sunlight. I don't know. I it's guess. Okay, well, this t this game clearly doesn't know what the fucking time Whoa, looks like. It's 6:30. Cool. Cool. Okay, Maybe it depends on the time of year. Oh, 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 more trivia. 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You see you zooming into random things. Oh my god. She walks <laughs> in after you're gone. You've gone to bed. Not quite drunk. Uh oh. Clearly been having a fun time. Julia. Gets, you fight when she gets between the sheets. Julia, what are you doing? You mad or you ignore her? What do I do? Do I talk it out? Am I like the person that likes to talk it out, or do I just like, nah, bitch, fuck you. I don't want to. Talk <laughs> <to you." laughs> oh my god, she's your wife. <laughs> she went out partying without me. What a bitch. Okay, so what's fuck what's a good bitch. problem solving? Do you just let it go? Or do you, Letting do you go will only build up me. It will build this one up. You get mad. I don't know. Yeah. It's a tool. Really my money. My money is on talk it out. You know what I mean. I'm gonna get. Mad. Yeah, but the, there's no you to talk it out. This is you ignore her or you get mad. <laughs> oh. See, oh my God. money's still not get mad though because I at least it's like. Apparently, I called her an inconsiderate asshole. Oh <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Well. She tells you to fuck yourself. And not to be such a baby. You call her, a, <laughs> you call her selfish. Uh, she knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. God damn, I probably you're should have ignored her. Well, you never know. See, this that's the thing about relationships. Is that, you know, you gotta... Oh god, 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from, for her, from her research. She draws all places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. Or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> what is the point of this? My money's on that Vicky secret, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what is the point of this? You know, it shows what your inner side is like. Are you a man to the bone, or are you like, you know, you have a soft side? Uh, it's trying to build the story. Let it build the story, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, so should I be He-Man, or should I be a Victoria's Secret model? Up to you, man. What do you think you should be? <laughs> Julia was right. You are very pretty. Okay. Oh. Got really cool shoes. Oh, I'm walking Chloe. This stuff. Chloe falls in the <laughs> What? You're such yeah. a tired. Uh, it's very orange. I really like this. Mm-hmm. I think this game's super pretty. Yeah. Two I'm gonna buy it. Let me get my pizza back. Eight more miles still. Oh, space bar to climb over stuff. Oh, yeah. Two forks. Oh, this is four stuff. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking me. The festival in town it brings folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, Good God, thing you Julia's got that sweet ass dog. Die. Oh. Okay. Mayhem runs away. Oh Mayhem, my God, Mayhem! You Mayhem, fucking son of a bitch. Fuck the, the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and she has trouble speaking. When she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Scare him away, or you beat his goddamn face. <laughs> Holy shit! This is getting like intense. Well, I don't know what to do. Do I scare him away? 
I don't know. I don't want to beat him. Well, <laughs> you don't want to beat oh, him, then don't beat him. Type. Like, yeah, really. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Beating his goddamn face in seems like it would have like problems, but scaring him away sounds like it was gonna have its own problems too. Well, <gasps> you know. What would you do in that situation? I would yeah. run the fuck away. <laughs> That's what I would do. There's no option to run away. Okay, well. Well, would you beat him Jeez, up? Scale man. of 1 to 10, would you beat him up? No, I wouldn't be able to. So probably like a 0 out of 10? 0 out okay, of 10. Okay, but like how scare would, a scale you, of 1 to 10, would you scare him? Rawr! How would you scare him away? Rawr! How would you scare him away? Scare him away, I want to see you, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun. And threaten to kill him. Oh, that's... Perfect. You managed to scare all three of you. Uh oh. You managed to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julie asks to take a different path from the, that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. That's not so bad. I feel like that's going to bite me in the butt. See, but I think that, you know, it's better than, like, maybe Julia doesn't like a violent sort of person and you can just beat someone's face in. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. Plants to have kids get, uh, way late work, way late by work. <laughs> Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 2, miles away. It's a great job. Associated department chair, she wants to move. You absolutely do not convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. Community back and forth is not going to work. And if, I'm not going to convince her to not take the job. So I'm gonna commute. I'm gonna com agree if she commutes back and forth. Dude, that's a 2,000 mile commute. Yeah, but I'm not gonna convince her not to take the job. That's like, that's two thirds of the way across the country. That's yes, her commuting. Yes, but I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna convince her not to take the job. Because it's a great job. Like it okay. says, no, 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 no. You, a you great like, job. Like, Associated department chair. Associate department chair. I feel like if you have a shittier job at that point, maybe you should just give up your is job. This why you I know what I mean? Firewatch? Because this bitch moves away and I'm like, fuck you. I like. I guess I'm going to look for fires. I'm going to look for fires because of your bitch ass. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. What do I do? Convince you to take the job? To not take the job, I mean? That one's completely your call. It's a really tough decision. It's super hard. Help yeah. me out. That's why I have you here. Kadeem. <laughs> what are you <laughs> whispering have, my ear for? I have you here for a Kadeem. You sounded like a man. Kadeem. What? Help him. Help me. <laughs> Help him decide. This is, this is tough. Um, I'm gonna agree if she commutes back and forth. Kadeem. I would say, yeah, commute. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because then she's not gonna even have if that. It's well, like, she might resent you, but not as much. Even oh. if it's like, like, like twice during like her, her, uh, her time working or whatever. Like twice per month or whatever like that. Yeah. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. Uh, she says that it'll be hard, that that'll be hard, but she'll do it if, uh, you won't move. Tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Well, that's nice. Tell me that. Is she gonna die or something? No, well, because I think she's in the trailer. Is she? There, no. there was a lady's voice in the trailer. Wait, that's not Julia. How do you know? Is it because I I, I think it was something June, something June, Julia June. <laughs> it could be. It could be. I'm sorry if there's a Julia June out there. Julia is sent home from Yale and on paid leave after having an episode. An episode? She lost it on a college on a colleague by for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaded them to him just two days prior. Oh god. She's I don't get sick. it. So she lent someone books and mm -hmm. she like spazzed out at him. 
Oh. And she did remember that she, uh. Julie's got problems, bruh. She's got problems. She <laughs> found crying in the stairwell. Okay. Oh my god. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine. Okay, Try don't drink it. mac- don't make macaroni. Like, don't solve your problems with macaroni, like, okay? I feel like dodging the problem is really bad. Yeah, I it's agree. It's gonna bite me in the butt. But I feel like facing the problem is gonna bite me in the butt. That's yeah, but at least you will have, like, no regrets, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was eating a milk <laughs> <laughs> You guys say that you should talk it out? Talk, well, talk yeah, talk it out. Okay. Like adults. Yeah. Talk it out like, like adults. adults. <laughs> and having tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffer suffering from an early onset dementia? Holy shit. Dementia. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh man! <laughs> that is clear is so wrong. quickly. Okay. That is clear is so quickly. both decide to keep it a secret for now. For wow. I feel like you guys are both like as much as as many choices as you can make. This You're still making bad choices. This, this, like I don't even have a choice for that. Right? It just says I I gotta keep it a secret. I gotta jerk. That's BS, bro. Yeah, that's some that's some, that's some oh shit. God. <laughs> what the? F What's the man? Two seconds. Is it? Is it a bear? No. Is it a pussy? Oh my god, I was- it's worse! <laughs> Mayhem is getting older. Uh, he's got silver hair down his back and slow, slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. I feel like that's a bad idea. 1987, Julia's affection, uh, affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Excuse me. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the uh, next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on a permanent medical leave. That's horrible. Someday you get to you get to Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. And she pulls you into bed to make love. Uh, after five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her, ba her dad is uh, You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their homes in Aust Australia to visit her. She's Australian? Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah! Okay. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten her. Uh, with little things to brighten her day, she gets worse. So this is probably not Julia in the no, trailer, no. cause the person in the trailer seems kind of like they have more of their shit together, you know? Yeah, yeah. You spend your days following Julia around the house. Um, spend your day following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between two weekly uh, visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia should live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care at home. It sits with you for a couple, a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You determine to take care of her by yourself. By yourself. I feel like <clears throat> taking care of her would be the romantic thing. But taking her to a facility would be the, you know, the caring thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know, I man. Think like, that if facilities you're... cost so much money. They cost money, but it would be But if you're waiting, like, the seconds between... You know, between the the nurse getting there, then you obviously can't take care of her by yourself. Yeah. Um, I, I know. I would. I would take care of them myself. To be I honest. I would try to take care of them myself, but if, if. But I also think that you're gonna like you're gonna have more resentment for her if you if you put it all on yourself if you're having this hard of a time. I'm gonna go I take would... care of her by yourself. Yes. Good job. Good job. Resenting her. For the rest of your life. Shut up. <laughs> wow. Getting a little violent. You're getting a little violent. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you are. No, you are. Okay. This looks freaking amazing. I'm gonna just mute my mic and eat this slice of pizza. Like an adult. Like a child. 
<laughs> rude. <laughs> it is it is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Oh god. That was a that was a bad decision. When she goes when she goes to sleep watching baseball in the summer, college baseball in the winter. Drinking then too. You start going out after uh, after you put her to bed. The first time you do, uh oh, the first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're up and gone. Uh, you put up a chair in front of the bedroom door. Holy shit! So that she she, she locked in the room. <laughs> or you trust hey. that she sleeps like a rock. You know what would make this decision so much easier, though? If I chose the other one? Having having sent her to a full-time facility. Yes! I that way you could actually enjoy your life. And, and not have to pen her into a room. Yes, but that's the thing. Like, she has family. Why can't her family take care of her? Her family can visit her at that full-time facility. I don't know what to do. Do I put a door, a door in front of her room? <laughs> put a door in front of the door. I put a chair in front of the door. <laughs> Do I put a chair in front of the door or just like trust that she's gonna sleep like a rock? I feel like if I put a chair in front of the door, she's gonna jump out the window and die. And if I put, if I trust that she's gonna like sleep like a rock, she's gonna wake up and then jump out the window. <laughs> Something bad's gonna happen. I'm just gonna choose did I trust that she sleeps like a rock. Why am I going out in the first place? Can't I just like not go out at all? Because you're sick of staying in and resenting her all the time. I told you. Oh God, you Jess, get out, Jess, get out of here. I told you. Yeah, you get out of here. You're here to help me, all not the time. shit in my face. <laughs> God. God damn. You, go to the you gotta give her a little trust. End of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. Uh, you're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple of nights a week. You look forward to these nights. Those nights. Not bad. 1989. One night you, you are stopped by, at a DUI checkpoint. Nice job. You blow a point ten and you are... Nice job! ...for the night. You consider oh trying to hide God. it, but you tell, Sheila, uh, you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. There's a lot of women in this guy's life. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state uh, your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't agree. You say you'll visit. Uh, you'll visit soon. A few weeks ago. A few. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. 